What's going on guys? My name is Steve. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today we're going to be reacting to a video from 2018 where the Royal Air Force Red Arrows celebrate centenary with spectacular air show. Turns out in 2018 it was actually the 100th year anniversary of the Royal Air Force and so that's what they're actually celebrating here. I've had a lot of people recommend Red Arrows before but this will be the first time that I'm actually checking them out. I don't really know what to expect here, but based off the thumbnail, this looks like it's going to be a really cool air show. Before we get started, guys, I'd also like to ask what R-I-A-T stands for. This is the one thing on this title that I'm not really sure what it means. So if anyone knows what R-I-A-T stands for, please let me know in the comment section. Anyways, guys, enough of my rambling. Let's go ahead and dive in and check out the Royal Air Force Red Arrows doing a spectacular air show for the 100th year anniversary. Where would this be at, guys? This is somewhere in England. I'm guessing it's probably where they're at. And so, are the Red Arrows an actual regiment within the Royal Air Force. That's what I'm guessing is the case. Those are some really cool looking planes. Dude, look at that formation, man. It's crazy how they're able to keep that formation like that. Look at that. Oh, dude, that's so cool, man. How are they doing that? They have to have a ton of practice to be able to keep that formation, man. Red one for 2018 is squad leader Martin Perks. Martin is a former Harrier and Type B pilot and previously instructed on the board. How close are they together when they're in that tight formation? They look really close together. What? Dude. That's crazy, man. Oh, dude, man. How do they do that? Seriously, how do they do that? How are they not clipping each other's wings? They're so close together when they cross paths like they just did uh, a minute ago. That's so cool, man. How? This reminds me when I watched that video of the... Uh, I watched the video with uh, Beating Retreat and I was just really impressed with how they were keeping the time. Everybody was so in unison. But I'm looking at this in the with the same type of fascination. How in the world are they keeping these planes in such unison and they know exactly when to turn, when to get into certain format? It just is crazy how they're so in time and so in sync with each other.
That's wild, man. Get the cameras ready. The smoke is about to come on for them. Look how close they look. That's crazy, dude. I mean, maybe it's not quite as close as it looks because, you know, they're they're up, you know, pretty high. I don't know what height they're at, but maybe it's not quite as close as it looks. But look at that formation, man. Ah, oh, dude. I would love to get into a plane when they were doing something like this. Not for too long, I think I'd get sick. <laughs> but, man, that'd be a blast. Look at that, dude. Wow. Oh, that's so cool, dude. It almost looks like fireworks or something. Like the uh, the the smoke formation or pattern. Whoa! Seriously, dude. Look how... You gotta be kidding me. Seriously? They made a heart in the air. <laughs> they made a heart in the air, dude. That's crazy. I mean, like, how did they both have the perfect angle to do that on each side to be equal? You know what I'm saying? That's wild, man. Dude, it's just so evenly spaced. How do you do that with a bunch of guys in planes? How do you do that? How do you know you're at the right... <laughs> Playing chicken again, man. Dude, that is so cool, man. Man, you know these guys gotta be literally some of the best pilots in the world. Look at that, man. They, they literally look so close to each other, man. And so we can enjoy the rest of it. 
Oh man, I bet it would be a blast to fly one of those planes, man. Or ride in one of those planes. Well, I kept on calling it a plane. Obviously, it's a jet, but um, here it is again. Riot, R I A T. What does that mean? Riot. It's up. I was wondering what it meant at the top of the, this title of the video we're on, but it also says it here, Riot. It's not Royal Air Force anything, so, and it's definitely not Red Air, Red Arrow. I don't know. Uh, I'm sure someone in the comments will uh, know what that means. Uh, guys, this was really cool. Um, <laughs> I remember a long time ago. I mean, like, it's been a really long time. I saw a flyover in person. Um, I don't remember where I was. I had a fair, so I, I can't even remember. It was like, you know, when I was like a teenager, I saw one of these type of flyovers. Um, I don't even remember who did it, and I thought it was really cool then, but um, this was amazing, guys. Um, these guys are obviously expert pilots, and uh, it's just, I can't imagine how they're able to keep, uh, you know, in unison with each other and how they know exactly like for example that heart how do they know those two pilots how do they know exactly when to cut back downwards to make the correct angle to where it's going to be even on both sides you know and then they're just like riding it seemed like they were riding like where they're they're almost touching each other and maybe that's not the case maybe it's just because they're you know up in the air and, it, and they look closer than they they are but at least that's the way it appeared you know, one question I have that I'm curious about is, are they the only ones in the jet and they're flipping a switch to turn on the different white, blue, and red smoke? Or is there someone else in there that's uh, somehow turning that on? And is that, what is that? Is it just colored smoke? Um, if someone knows what type of chemical or whatever is causing that smoke to be the colors they are, please let me know in the comment section. I, I, I'm just really curious about that as well. But guys, I thought this was really cool. Um, if you have any other videos like this to share with me, please do so in the comments. I find things like this really interesting. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow me on my journey to discover my British and Irish ancestry. Till next time, guys. Peace.